I'm gonna be talking about and showing you guys the top three things you guys have to do on day number one of PS99. What's up guys? My name is D Field and welcome back to a brand new episode and the first episode of Pet Simulator 99. Ladies and gentlemen, this is day number one of a brand new series. We've already played a little bit off of camera during a live stream, but for today's very first episode, I'm gonna be talking about and showing you guys the top three things you guys have to do on day number one of PS99. All of these things are things that I require and that I would recommend that you guys do check out and do for yourselves. Right at the start of the video, a quick reminder, the massive shiny Giat Cat Army wants to remind you guys to use star code DFIELD on your next Robux or premium checkout. It really does support me as a creator here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for using my star code. All right, guys, this is one of the first times we are hopping on to PS99. And as you guys can see, Oh, there's so much to do, all right? Let's talk about some of the first things you guys have to do. As soon as you log in, you guys are gonna be familiarized with the spawning fountain. The very first thing I recommend that you guys do is hop on over to this left side of the area and there is a pet box. You guys can claim all of your pets that you guys have transferred from PS99. And as you guys can see here, my three rainbow Titanics are all here. Thankfully, everything is looking good. All of my Titanics are here we've transferred all of our shiny huge pop cats as well as the rainbow shiny one right there those ones were worth a lot of gems as some of you guys may have already guessed we've also got a bunch of huge evolved pets and a couple of our eggs as well that we have transferred that is the number one thing you guys want to do before you even start your psx journey oh my gosh guys there's so much there's literally so much group rewards are right here we've got the vip area as well guys we spent a little bit of robux and honestly we bought some of the game passes all right so we've got vip we've got the magic eggs and plus 15 pets equipped don't forget to check your guys's mailboxes in the future this is going to be the same system that we use in order to give out some free huges to you guys so let's go ahead and get into some gameplay i'm going to show you guys a couple of the updates let me go ahead and toggle this real fast let me uh remove all my pets real quick because what you guys want to actually do is obviously when you guys want to flex your favorite pets just like the old system all you have to do is equip your favorite pets that you want out but when you're farming you guys want to make sure you hit the toggle edit mode right at the top of your screen and that will ensure that you guys are using your strongest available pets so you guys can see we're going to be using all of the titanics that we have transferred on top of a couple of the new pets that we have just hatched in here and this will ensure that you guys do the most amount of damage ah guys a brand new pet simulator game the journey has just now begun i hope you guys have hit that subscribe button there's so freaking much to look forward to what is this one right here you need a castle key to unlock this door all right so we're gonna need to find a secret castle key in the future now this machine in the fourth area is probably one of the most important that you guys are gonna want to look at this is the machine where you'll be able to purchase how many pets you can have equipped a lot of you guys were worried that this game was gonna be too pay to win but you guys can see even on day one I actually cannot buy more than these amount of pets the only way that we can equip more pets is if we level up our rank which is found on the right side of your screen take a quick peek at that we are currently rank two beginner at the start of our journey in order to rank up we need to complete the classic obby unlock an area and earn 200 diamonds that diamonds one should be fairly simple let's go into the classic obby this is the very very first obby in here and if we're able to complete this i think we'll be able to actually get a quick little reward from our questing. So let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, this is one of those obbies. I haven't done an actual obby in a while. We just gotta make sure we do well. Should I go into shift lock mode? Probably, right? Oh no, 19 seconds. Okay, all right, so we get a little bit of a timer. I just realized now that there's a timer on the screen. So let's take the easer out just to complete it the first time. And then let's see what happens. The easy route is definitely a lot longer of a route that you guys can see. 
And if we're able to do the fast route, we might actually be able to get a faster time than this. So there we go. There we go. Rewards, rewards. Guys, this first obby, everyone can do this first obby. There it is. 27 seconds obby completed. Teleporting back to the main area. We now just completed that quest. We have to collect an enchant, unlock an area, and earn 200 diamonds. Let's collect more of these rank rewards as well. We are nearly freaking done and moving on forward. Ooh, have I purchased this one right here? Move faster? All right, there we go. Let's purchase that move fast right there. Each one of these areas all have something that you can purchase, whether it's damage, a speed boost, some potions, and they are all very, very, very affordable. For those of you guys who play free to play, I know for a fact you guys will be very happy with the game. A lot of the different systems that they've put into this game definitely allow for a player who is free to play to still do very well and to still succeed in a game such as this. Honestly, a big, big, big props to big games games they've done a really really great job in incorporating the free-to-play players into this game and even though it might look like i'm speeding through a lot of these areas because i've got all these titanics i guarantee you guys will still have a boatload of fun playing now guys 200 gold bars for the next one. Ooh, look at this guy's pet speed let's go ahead and unlock this pet speed right there anything over here we can upgrade our potions you know what i should probably while we are in the middle of video let's go ahead damage treasure hunter let's go ahead and activate some of these why the heck not we have a whole bunch of them we're probably going to end up stacking a whole bunch in the future as well so we might as well use the potions while we can in the middle of the video right there's a fruit machine here as well and a lot of secret areas that i will eventually walk down 200 gold bars let's go ahead and unlock it another little reward done guys we are already in area 15 slowly but surely working our way up Okay, what other things do we need here to finish off rank number two? We need to collect an enchant, break 65 presents, or break 125 breakables in the best area. Is this right here considered the best area? Probably not, right? Ooh, you guys know what I think I really need to do before I uh, continue my path here? I need to upgrade my damage pets. Currently, right now, we have not unlocked too many damage pets. As you guys can see, we have 372 and 334. That is the reason why my Titanics are not doing a crazy amount of damage yet. So what I'm going to do, let's teleport to spawn using the cannon. We've already done some of these ones. Let's go ahead and slowly unlock I'm gonna go ahead open at least one little egg from these just so we can index some of these earlier pets that you guys are seeing right there Oh my gosh, that 18 egg hatch is so freaking satisfying to watch Continue with the unlocks working our way down the line. Oh, we did not get that 4% one. Let's do this one more time all right, not too bad, not too bad. Rainbow dog, still plenty, guys. Still plenty of gems and still plenty of coins for us to use and for us to accumulate here. In the future, we're still gonna be able to hatch more than 18, but for the meantime, we have unlocked as much as we can for our current rank. Now, the main reason we are unlocking all these eggs, as I said, is just to get a slightly better damage pet than what we're currently using right now. So it does look like as of the meantime, we can only unlock these pets. Ooh, there we go. We got one rainbow one from that one. Can we do one more of these? Anything good? Anything good? Oh, doesn't look like we got any rainbows from that one. So let me toggle the edit mode and then toggle the edit mode once more. We've got that mushroom raccoon, 720 damage. Literally, that is going to be so freaking powerful. Now, guys, I don't think you can teleport to the further areas yet. We're going to need to actually use our hoverboard. Ooh, free diamonds. Let's go ahead and use those. Why the heck not free diamonds? <laughs> so guys, as a quick little recap, some of the very first things that you guys want to make sure you get done for your very first day on Pet Simulator 99. Number one, claim your pets, all right? Claim your pets from PSX so that you guys can use them in order to aid you with your journey. Number two, make sure you guys are using your boosts. As you guys are traversing even the earlier areas, there are a lot of rewards that you guys will be able to use 
clues in these enchants and in all of these different potions, I guarantee that you guys will be able to get a lot of different bonuses if you guys use these tips. Oh my gosh, we are getting a whole bunch of different rewards here. Let's claim that. Guys, we need one more little section in order to claim rank number three. And I think that'll honestly be a perfect time to end off this video once we do that. So let's go ahead and break 125 breakables in the best area for three stars. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now rank number three. Oh, that is a feel good moment. We got a magnet flag, diamond flag, hasty flag. Ooh, those are going to be something that we definitely want to uh, save up for when we get to the higher areas. But oh, yeah, we are definitely going to use that. Let's go ahead and unlock this one right here. Area number 14 or 16, excuse me. Oh, we can upgrade our enchants as well. Guys, our journey here on PSX is just now starting. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. You need to follow alongside with us for this entire journey. We're going to be showing all the secret areas. We're going to be giving you guys tips and tricks and giving away a whole bunch of huge pets as well. My name is D Field. We'll see you guys again very soon for another daily. PSX episode. Don't forget, guys, do your rank rewards. This is what you need to do in order to progress in this game. We'll see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace.